Hello and Happy New Year. It's Hugh from RTA Property. It's been about six weeks since I uploaded the first video tour of our site development on the Anvil, which is a pub that we plan to convert into five flats. During that time, the build team have done a fantastic job of navigating through Christmas, COVID and the COVID restrictions, and more recently, the snow. Now we're still technically in the clear out phase, but this week we've got an exciting new development where we're gonna be putting in a staircase as soon as you come into the main entrance. Now Martin kindly recorded a site tour for me during the weekend, and I thought I'd share that with you. What I'll do, I'll run you through on the screen and do a split screen where we can show you some before and after stills. And I'll also share with you some of the creative decisions that we're gonna to have to make very shortly, which would welcome your feedback on. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at our progress. So before I hand over the reins to Martin, who can show you what it looks like downstairs, I thought I'd just quickly remind you of what the anvil looked like prior to any development works taking place. So I'm using the Matterport once again to show you. So if we go through the main entrance, you see the anvil right there. This is where the staircase is gonna be with an entrance to the flat to the left and to the right. I'm gonna take you through to this flat and you'll notice that it's pretty dark in here. Okay, that's where the bar area is. We've got the men's toilet straight ahead there, ladies' toilets to the left, and the bar area. So that's what it looked like prior to any development works, and now I'm gonna pass you over to Martin. Hi, mate. So I'm back at the anvil, and I'll give you a little update. So, take you inside. Right bud, so it's all been cleared out, tidied up, all the bars gone, bar area where you all that's gone, all that's been ripped out, as you can see quite a lot of rubbish, there's been loads and loads of skips gone so it's just constant at the minute with the rubbish as you can imagine, wall removed out of there which is going to open that up that steel, those three steels that go across there, they're the ones that need reinforcing. And then we'll need one going across as well. Um, so I hope that's clear. So just here where the staircase is gonna go, I'll do it from this side. So staircase, obviously as you come in, staircase and stairs are gonna go straight up there. They've already cut out the floorboards above and just boarded back over that so no one falls down it but that's set to go. Um, the staircase is due in on Tuesday, um, just because this staircase here is quite hard to get the materials up and stuff like that. So putting the main one in will make it easier for them. So as you can see, there's been a fair bit of work that's been done. And now before I hand you back over to Martin, I'm gonna just remind you what it looks like upstairs prior to any development works being done. Here we are at the top of the stairs. We have the bathroom on the right hand side and the bedroom on the left. And it will end just at this point here with this current vacant room. Okay, I'm gonna hand you back over to Martin now and you can see what it looks like right now. So all this is opened up, all these walls have been removed. So it gives you a bit of a picture because that's gonna be uh, bedroom and bathroom there. So bedrooms there, that's going to be boarded back over. Um, um, that is where the staircase is going to come up. Now we've got a decision to make because the staircase is probably going to come about there. That's going to be the, that's going to be the opening there. So we've got quite a decent space. If you look, that's kind of about the floor area that's going to be available along with this bit here so what to do with that is the question um, there's a few options so martin's right we've got a few options here and as far as we see it there are three main ones so we could leave this landing space as it is right here uh, as a neutral space for flat four and uh, flat five upstairs 
Our concern with that is that when they come up the stairs here, they're either going to go into their flat um, either side and probably aren't going to want to turn back on themselves and use this neutral space. We also fall into the possibility that it's neutral territory, so no one will really take responsibility for it and it might left, uh, be left untidy or be littered and that type of thing. The other two options are that we utilise that space into either flat number four to the left or flat number five. The first option, knocking into flat number five here, would mean that we could potentially create uh, an ensuite in this space and eradicate the space that we have for the uh, bathroom just here. Now the bathroom just here in our current plans, uh, we are actually putting a planning amendment for a second bedroom at the bottom of this plan, which is just out of view at the moment. And this smaller bathroom would be shared between those two bedrooms if we do get that planning amendment. However, if we knocked through and utilised a ensuite space here, we could potentially use an ensuite space in the bathroom uh, down below and increase the bedroom size uh, for bedroom number five. Okay, the third and final option as we see it is that we knock through this wall and we create a kitchen in this space here. We could have a kitchen around this area because this will bring in some nice natural light. We could even cut that off there and use this as a cupboard space and use the other half, either utilities or for some uh, storage. That way we're going to maximise the flat number four and we're going to give some extra space here for a living area. And we could also put it, uh, make it into a living and dining area, which would be quite nice. Now, my personal preference would be this third option because uh, flat number five is probably going to be the pick of the bunch. If you recall, it does have a balcony at the back as well as two bedrooms. So if we're adding value, it makes sense to me that we do it for kitchen or sorry for flat number four but I'm really interested to see what you think so please leave your comments uh, in the comments below or uh, drop us a message or an email to let us know what you think. So now I'm going to jump over to the Matterport and show you the second bedroom of flat number five uh, as it was pre-development before handing you back to Martin and showing you what it looks like right now. So here we are at the top of the staircase that we were just discussing. I'm going to flip round and show you the bedroom that is two rooms, which we're going to knock into one. So this was it pre-development, um, you know, just a, a fairly small average size room. There is a chimney breast that we need to knock through, which I understand was a fair bit of a challenge for the boys. I'll just show you the other side, which is a bathroom right there and uh, we've knocked through and our goal now is to, uh, we've taken it back to planning to see if we can uh, turn this into a second bedroom for flat number five so i'm going to hand you back over to martin to show you what it currently looks like um, this has been opened back up if you can remember the wall there that was a chimney breast going straight up which was a bit of a nightmare to get out because it would double bricks the whole way around um, but again, this is, this is what we're hoping to go back in for the planning amendment to get the extra room. So despite Christmas, COVID and the snow, our build team have made a fantastic start over the last six weeks in building the groundwork for the conversion that we're going to do to five flats. I hope that you found this video useful or at least interesting. And I'm excited to share the rest of our progress with you this year. So what do you think of the progress that we've made so far? And what would you do with the space at the top of the landing? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. As always, if you've got any questions or if you're interested in investing in Orate property, please don't hesitate to contact us. Both Martin and I would be happy to answer any questions or to let you know how you can get involved. Thank you for your time and your attention. Please feel free to like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can be notified of our next update. And until next time.